Thank you, Scott. So imagine this. You reach into the pocket of that pair of shorts you haven't worn since last summer or the summer before that because you've been wearing stretch pants for the <laughs> past year, and you find $20. It feels good, right? It is your money. You didn't even know you had it there. Well, think of the state of Pennsylvania as your shorts. They've got $100 million. It's your money. You just have to claim it. Here's Seanette Wilson. And claim property? Or? Yeah. Punch it in. Yep. How lucky are you feeling? I'm pretty good on scratch cards. But in a matter of seconds, we figured out that Ryan Stewart's luck begins and ends at scratch offs. Sorry, no records were found. Maybe that just means that you are on top of your money. So we tried with Crystal Dissinger. Basically, the state announced that there's $100 million available in unclaimed money to residents, and they're trying to um, get that money back to people. We got her to check the state website. And they'll ask you like to put in your last name, first name, and just state and zip code. Nothing, Nothing was found. Will the third time be the charm here? My name comes up. Okay, we're getting somewhere. It says the holder is Aetna Life Insurance Company. Under 100. Is that, I don't know if that's, this is legit. That's a legitimate thing, yes. Your lack of excitement is baffling <laughs> to me. <laughs> it didn't take long, though, for Jackie Reinhardt to get the bug. Now, why can't I be these other Jack ones? This could be you, too. Pennsylvania State Treasurer Stacey Garrity says her office has located $110 million money and value items belonging to current and past residents of Bucks County. One out of 10 Pennsylvanians have unclaimed property, and the average claim is about $2,000. So it could be for a dormant bank account. It could be from a property, tangible items from an abandoned state deposit box. It could be from a police evidence room, colleges, or nursing homes. Old retirement account from a job that they had years ago. Garrity says this is a perfect time to find money. We have so many people out of work, so many small businesses that have really been hurt through this pandemic. And it's easy. All you have to do is search the PA Treasury website. You can search any state. If you search the site and it turns up nothing, there may still be something in it for you. The county is also getting a hefty check that may help the community. Treasurer Garrity made the announcement about unclaimed money recently on a visit to Doylestown, where she presented a check to county officials. Bucks County also had unclaimed money. We're in discussions to possibly benefit the children of the county, maybe funnel it back into our children and youth, possibly our mental health area of drug and alcohol. Chris Ballerini is the Bucks County Treasurer who located the lost funds and worked with the state to get them back. It took about six months to diligently look up misspellings, departments, um, different addresses. We issue a check to pay a bill and they are now going to refund us. We've overpaid in this case. But then the check goes to the wrong address or the wrong department and it never caches. Then it, after a certain amount of time, you send it up to the state and it sits in unclaimed funds. She says one of the larger amounts found will go back to the county retirement fund for county employees. It was quite a payday, for sure. In Bucks County, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.